but is there evidence that countries are serious about those commitments they made in Paris? Uh, there is. You know, in, in the U.S., uh, as uh, you uh, may know, Donald Trump has threatened to, to pull out of uh, the Paris Accord. But it turns out that he can't even do that, even if he tried. What's, having, uh, what's happening at the local level, at the state level, um, uh, consortia of states, the West Coast states, the Northeastern states, uh, we will probably meet our obligations under Paris no matter what Donald Trump does. But then you've got Australia. One of our most uh, prominent climate scientists here, David Caroli, who you know, uh, says or p points out uh, that according to government modelling, Australia will have zero reductions in emissions by 2030, contrary to what the government sa is saying. Uh, if that's the case, why do you still still have this optimism that countries are serious about getting to those uh, reductions targets. So that's right. We have to you know, keep our policymakers honest. And I'm glad that David is, is calling them to task for, for not being true to the commitments that have been made under Paris. Um, on the other hand, you look at China. China is actually exceeding their commitments. They are decommissioning coal-fired power plants. Um, they are making up for some of the slack that other countries are, are leaving in not quite realizing their commitments. And so we can still do it.